Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Epcot and actually Disney invited me out to Epcot to come check out their new pass holder merchandise pop-up event and it's right here in the Germany Pavilion. They're gonna have exclusive pass holder merchandise with some amazing discounts and it's actually only available to pass holders. You have to show your pass holder card to get in. And then we're gonna go around and enjoy some of the food and wine offerings. I am definitely excited for today. Let's go do this. And here it is, right inside the Build-A-Bear location. I'm so excited to actually take a look-see in here. It's really awesome that they're giving back to the pass holders and giving them their own exclusive shop. Oh, and now we're going to get to actually go in and check it all out. First time ever. I'm very excited. Oh, wow. Look at all these Germany items. This is really awesome already, I can tell. Lots of cool stuff. Of course, one thing I wanted to check out immediately is to see if they had any exclusive pass holder magic bands, which they do, and they have them in different colors. They have a regular pass holder one, and then they have a food and wine one. I really like this. They have it in different colors for the food and wine too. See, those are always the ones I'm looking for. Here is the regular pass holder one. Looks like that they're going for $29.99. But don't forget, like I said, you get 30% off. Now we're gonna take a look at some of my favorite items that I see in here. And you can see they have tons of new arrivals. This just in, and some of this stuff is only for pass holders. You need to show your actual pass holder card to even get in this store. So I'm excited to see nifty things. This is so awesome because I've never seen a pass holder shirt with one of the cool pass holder magnets on it. Look at, it's Remy. I can see if there's anything on the back. Nope. This is absolutely awesome. But if you notice, there's a lot of signs in here. These are world showcase items for 50% off. If you're a pass holder, you actually get 30% plus 50%. That's amazing. And they have tons of stuff, even flower and garden items for 50% off. That's absolutely mind bending. So like all of these items right here, this Epcot sweatshirt, you get the 50% and then the 30%. That's like un unbelievable. These shirts and stuff like that are seven, maybe $5 a piece. And then if you buy $50 worth of stuff, you get a cutting board and a coaster set with it. This is an amazing deal. And this purse right here is like almost $7. The actual hoodie itself, which is a really nice hoodie. I'm gonna grab it by the, the hanger here. This is actually only $8. That is mind blowing. I'm sorry. Some things just hit you like a ton of bricks. And you know, I'm a big fan of a bargain. <laughs> All of these France fragrances are actually 50 plus 30. Room spray. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it all. <laughs> This is something that's really awesome too. It's not discounted, but all of these clothing items and merchandise items are supposed to be in Disneyland Paris, but because they couldn't ship them over here, they ended up here. Very fancy. I like this umbrella. And then they also said this is the only romper they have in Disney World. I don't even know what that is, but that's fancy. Seriously though, there are so many cool items here. This is definitely something I'm coming back for. I love it. I just love it. I love pretzels. I love beer. I love Germany. It's a perfect combination. Earlier I pointed out Remy as being one of the pass holder magnets on a shirt. And you can see they actually have the other ones over here too, including the food and wine one. That's really cool. So if you didn't get the magnet, you can get the shirt at least. The shop is about to open up to regular guests, so we came back outside and there's already a line here. And actually, it's a virtual line. So if you see that these two sections are full, you can hop in and join a virtual line and then they'll text you when you can actually go in the store. I like when they use the virtual lines for things because it makes it a lot more easy and you don't have to stand in the sun. Just to show you guys how quick things go, this was open for how long? Like two uh, minutes. Yeah. About 15 minutes. Yeah. 15 and they minutes. Wiped out. Wiped out. And they're restocking. Oh, That's wow. insane, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Just to give you an example of everything that I was able to get, this was all for forty dollars. I got the new annual pass holder magic band. I got a set of the pass holder coasters. I got this nice little purse from my mom. She's gonna love it. And then I got the Epcot jersey right here look at that right $40 that's unbelievable 
And now that I'm walking out of the Germany Pavilion with a bunch of new things, I think it's time we start enjoying some of the food and wine festivities and get ourselves a drink. Yeah! I highly suggest if you plan on coming to Epcot and doing a lap around World Showcase that you get one of these nifty little wristband gift cards because it's a lot more safer and more sanitary to use these. Disney actually supplied me with this one itself, but I'm a big fan now. We're working our way over to Norway and you can see the line for Frozen has already become a very long wait and it's only been open for like 35 minutes. I know it gets a little bit busier, but wow. And our first stop is going to be China because I want to get myself a Sing Sao, but we're going to hang out with some friends. What are you getting to drink? Sing Sao. Oh, yeah, very fancy. Yeah. Prince Charming Dev and Jackie Super Enthused. Sing sweet nightingale. That's what I think I'm Yeah. Sing. What happened to Jenna though? Jenna's here too somewhere. Oh, okay. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Jenna. <laughs> I had the jasmine beer here before and I wasn't a fan, but Sing Sao I always love. And because it's so hot, I think we're gonna go into the Norway pavilion and actually take some seat and refuge from the relaxation station they have in there because it's my favorite. Oh yes, feel that AC. Oh, this is the best relaxation station. Look at this. Are we the only ones in here? I think we are. We got this whole place to ourselves. Uh, yeah, we're the only ones in here. Fancy, king of the castle. <laughs> this place is so fun, and we actually did find Jenna. <laughs> Look at that. Can you just hear that music? Isn't it so nice? Definitely feel like a royal. You would compare this to Cinderella's royal table, which I just dined at and then maybe be our guest. Yeah, I, I feel like that's a good comparison. Now I think it's time we move along and hit up another booth. Like I said, there's a lot that I actually want to do here today and maybe ride Test Track. I don't know, Jackie has high hopes about Test Track, but I know the weights have been kind of crazy. And I still can't understand it, but the bakery is only open Monday to Friday. I need my school bread and I know where you can get it because they're starting to serving it actually over at the beer stand. Isn't that amazing? They have other things in there other than school bread, but I feel like that's the most popular and I absolutely love it. And I'm so happy that they actually sell it over here now. Right here, you can actually buy it. That's very convenient of them to put their popular bakery item out here. So at least you're not on a total miss. I think things are starting to come together for Jackie and she's realizing coming we're not gonna be riding test track today. Look at that line, holy moly. Like inside Test Track, they have a very impressive like long queue, but this is gigantically long if it's all the way out here too. And we're not just talking about social distancing. I think the wait time is posted at 80 minutes. And this is so cool to see because we've showed the flavors from Fire Before booth, but how about now they added the NFL schedule to it because it is hosted by the NFL on ESPN. I think that's kind of cool. They actually have the schedule for the whole entire year. Look at that. And if you guys don't know, I'm a big San Francisco 49ers fan. And since we're actually here, we might as well get ourselves a drink because, you know, they have the Bell Seasonal Beer. And I actually really enjoyed it. I had it not too long ago, but they also have a S'mores Whoopie Pie that's very, very popular. We got ourselves some drinks and some food. Dev got the skirt steak. Yeah, dude. That looks good. And we got the Bell Seasonal Beer. Very dark. They need to add some shade here, though. Yeah, this is good. Ugly like, this is. Yeah, very, very hot, but it's okay. I'm used to sweating. <laughs> this is a little behind the scenes action. <laughs> Everybody's trying to find shade, including Jackie down there. Dev, I think you're causing the shade for Jackie, actually. <laughs> I think you're causing it. <laughs> In fact, we're all copying Jackie now. We're all getting some shade from underneath the table. Look at us as we gather. As we gather around, around the fire. The fire. <laughs> like elementary school before lunchtime. This is hysterical. <laughs> now I think we're going to move along a little bit more. Like I said, I'm just having a relaxing day. It's a little bit hot out. Uh, I probably shouldn't have wore the spirit jersey. I feel like I say that a lot, and I do it a lot, so I don't learn from my mistakes. 
Jackie's plan was to head the test track, but since it has an extremely long line, most of it outside, I think we're gonna head to land because inside the land, I think that's your best bet when you come to Epcot. Soren is actually running their line very quickly, and plus you can actually ride the land, both indoor, both with AC, both I like. Winning! And here it is, the beautiful land. Jenna tagged back in with us and Dev actually took off for the evening. Don't you love it how we just keep on like intertwining like different channels? That's fun. No matter what the circumstances are, whether it be super hot out or there be gigantic long lines, I'm just so happy to be able to come here. Like I'm just so happy being in Epcot or being in Disney World in general. There's always something fun to do. I wanted to see if they had any seasonal items at the seasons. So I joined the actual mobile ordering and now we're gonna take a look see. I think they have a seasonal cupcake. Maybe a little Halloween-ish? I don't know. They actually don't have any seasonal items. They have a strawberry shortcake and a plant-based cookies and cream chocolate mousse cup. That sounds really good. And also they have your favorites like Encrustables and these are mainly for the kids, but they have potato chips. And then the cheeseburgers, they used to have a lot more offerings down here when things were open. But now that it's mobile ordering, there's not so much. Mostly cheeseburgers and pizzas, but you can always get the beer. Taking my way with the Bud Light, that's the way to go here at the Seasons. But look at that pour. That is some skill, isn't it? That's how you hold it one hand and you pour out the what you got. Thank you. And look at that, the land is actually only a 10 minute wait. The only thing is, is when you're walking through these plexiglass barriers, it's very tight corridors. You gotta be careful, if you're claustrophobic, it's a little tough. Here I come! <laughs> This is one of the most relaxing rides at Walt Disney World, and I stand by that. Did you spray Beach Club? I did! I knew it! I just love sitting in the front row, too. Oh, here we go! Now we're coming up on daylight. Yet still respect the needs of the land. Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. My favorite plant in the land is definitely the dragon fruit. Just look how cool that is because I've never seen like dragon fruit growing other than actually here on the land. So that's awesome that I got to see like the plant itself. Very fancy. And take a look at the signs. Welcome back. We've missed you. I love that. It's been here since the parks reopened. I remember. We actually did yeah, that. Remember we rode this the yep. opening day? Yep. I remember that. I personally love them. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. We get to see them in action actually picking some of the vegetables. Or what are they actually picking there? Sure, I didn't see that. Oh, it looks like she's I just trimming like leaves. Trimming. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. It's like a behind the scenes. I didn't have to pay for the tour. <laughs> oh, look at that thingy. And take a look at the Mickey pumpkin. Pumpkin. Look at that. Oh, I need a picture of it. Some of our better it feels so season. good in here. These crops feel taste that as good oh. as they look. Like in the fact, AC is just flowing right here. I don't even know if it's AC. What is this? Like in restaurants a here at the land. Just a beautiful year. cold breeze. Oh. A beautiful cold breeze oh. on the land. <laughs> Edible flowers. And vertical farming. And vertical farming. <laughs> Oh man, look at lavender. Well, you don't want to eat the lavender. We tried that out before. <laughs> I remember that. Do you remember eating the lavender? And also, do you remember eating the edible flowers? Yes, we did both of those together. The not good, oh, not memories. good. Yes, not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I kind of wish that ride didn't end. Thank you. And we can see some sanitizing actually happening right now in front of us. Terminex. 
that was nice to actually get out of the sun for a little bit and ride the land but now i think we're gonna actually head back out to epcot and hit up another food and wine stand i haven't gotten anything to eat yet because the two stands that we stopped to which was china and then uh flavors of fire i've already eaten the items from there so i wanted to wait and eat something i haven't eaten before i was really hoping for the donut box but it was closed so now we're going to see if the other ones that I was hoping would be open or are open so I can get something nice to eat. It is still so strange to actually see the construction happening here. But like, like look at that right there, right? Unbelievable. I can't wait to see the finished product though. I am so excited to see this all completed. I really want this waffle stand to open though. I've been waiting for it. They're going to have berry waffles and chocolate waffles and then some Black Widow hard cider. This is going to be a good booth and I'll be waiting. I think one of the places we're gonna hit up to get something to eat probably is gonna be in the World Show Place. I mean, I know they have the mac and cheese counter happening, but I might be in the mood for something sweet, maybe a cake pop. I did have cake pop on the first day of Food & Wine, actually the first opening day of Epcot, but I'd love to get another cake pop. They were so delicious. One of the best things that come out of Food & Wine this year is this show place. I love it. Number one, air conditioning. Number two, live entertainment. And number three, great food and drinks. You can't go wrong. And I think the best thing about the Nitro Cake Pop is actually walking with the Nitro Cake Pop. Wait till I show you. And of course, I had to go with the Twix. That was my favorite last time. Oh, thank you. Look at that bad boy. I love it. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. You know, I did this the last time I came to Epcot for opening day for Food of Wine. This was so much fun. Look at that bad boy. Wow. Finally reunited with my delicious cake pop. <laughs> Seriously, in my opinion, one of the best things for food and wine this year. I absolutely love this. I love the whole experience. Like I said, nothing like going up there and buying it and then running across the whole entire dining room like you're carrying a flaming torch. But it's just a, a frozen chocolate cake pop. <laughs> to go along with my Twix cake pop, I decided to get a cider. Now, normally I would go with the banana cider because I absolutely love it, but they don't have the banana cider. Instead, I got the huckleberry cider. And I have to say, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't I, I don't like ciders. The only reason I love the banana cider so much is because it was a cider that I loved. But, you know, you gotta try new things and I will finish this because I'm a champion. I'm a good boy. <laughs> now I think it's time that we actually move along, but I figured since we were actually going to make our way out of the park, maybe I'd switch into my new sweatshirt just to see what it feels like. I didn't want to switch into it because I'm already wearing a sweatshirt and it's very, very hot out. But since we're going to walk out, I'd like to see it. And there it is. Look, I switched over. I really, really like it. I'm probably not gonna wear it again until December because it has that very like wooly feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like this very like warm material. So I'm probably not gonna wear this until December. Like, so I'll wear it on the way out, but this is definitely a winter sweater. Anywho's, I think that's going to do it for me. What an amazing day. Thank you, Disney, for inviting me out. So much cool stuff. I absolutely loved it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Has anybody seen Jackie? Oh, there she is. <laughs> what is she doing up there? That's the Green Landing Family Play Zone.